Okay, so we're setting up this Rabbit 720 cutter. Here we have, uh, first thing we're going to Windows 732 bit. So we're going to install the driver. We have our driver here, our disk drive. So we're going to go to computer, DV drive. Not found, come on. Drive not found. Why is that not found? So I'm plug it. Yeah, plug it back in. Is it working? Almost there. Aha. Uh -huh. Why is it doing that? Okay, let's just go open. Okay, so we here we have our Windows 7 USB. So that's us. We're going to install the driver. Left click, run as administrator. Okay, install. Success. Okay, so our driver is now installed. Okay, let's go to the port. Control panel. Device manager. Com ports. Okay, so this is it here, 16, just to verify it, we're gonna unplug it. Okay, now it's gone. Show you the what I'm using, so I'm using a COM port to USB adapter, plugging it back in, going all the way to the machine, yes it's plugged in, yes the machine's online, ready to go, coming back here, okay there we are there, opening up, okay so everything looks good there, let's go port settings, because it's a Chinese version, 9600, that looks right. In the manual it says 9600, on and off, that looks right, advanced. And it gives me one option here, this one, or not. So we don't want that. Everything looks right. Let's drop that, let's bring it back up again, make sure it's right. Port, on and off, yes driver, HX laser, driver details, looks okay, we just installed our driver, let's update it anyway, and let's, uh, it says XP, let's browse, Win 7, okay, next, Okay, close, do that again, browse the computer, let me pick my driver I want, <coughs> this one here, USB to serial, let's close that, browse my computer, browse, Let me pick the one I want. Um, I'll pick it from the list. Okay, that's definitely the right one. Okay, it's definitely installed. Okay. Port settings. Perfect. 9600, 8, none. X on, X off. Okay, close. 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 Let's just close Vinyl Master and we'll start from the beginning. 
No, I don't want to save that. Okay, Vinyl Master, here we go. Okay, loading. Okay, so, first thing I want to go is to uh, license. Here it is. Okay, so my version is registered. Okay, cool. Let's go uh, new. Get rid of this. Let's go new. Letters, tests, okay. Now we'll just go set up wizard. We'll do it all manually again. Vinyl cutter, install vinyl cutter, waiting. Okay, so that's uh, we've got a rabbit uh, 720, but in the manual it says it's this brand here. I've set it to 600 because our material is 600. So let's go. Next button's all the way down here. Okay, now it says firmly plug in the communications port, uh, load some media, press online and press next. And we'll see what happens. So I'll push next. Nothing. Okay, select how your device is connected. Com port serial. And that's my one there. So that's what I've got. Go down the bottom to next. Okay, auto select. Okay, so it didn't auto select it, so we're going to manual select it. And we know it's COM port 16. We know the flow rate is 9.6 as per the instructions in the manufacturer's book. Test cut. Ready to perform a test cut. Okay, so that seemed to do something. Up, went up and down, so perhaps that's a test cut. Install the driver now. Okay, driver's in. <coughs> Let's go to test. So, uh, <coughs> so in general, our width is correct. Everything's right. Here's our little test down here. Our width looks right. Everything looks right. Let's go up to uh, cutter control. Looks right. Settings look right. Area test, let's do that. Send area test, and I'll just push the button and show you. And it's on spastic. So bring it back. So we did an area test, and it went right off the Richter scale. Just uh, actually, we'll go into calibration up the top. Uh, that seems okay. Okay, so let's go here. Cutter, current cutter, vinyl. Yes, that's correct. Um, direct com 16. That's correct. Direct com port. That's correct. Com 16. That's correct. Um, 9600. That's correct. Software on and off. That looks to be correct as well. Done. Cancel. Let's try it once again. I can do a cut. I'll just try doing cut now. And I'll do ready to proceed. So it should just print this little test right here. And it's hit the wall. So we tried to do a test and it's just gone smash into the wall. So what are we missing here? Let's go back to connection. Okay, so we definitely got on and off. That's good. Let's go detect. Let's go advanced here. And according to my notes, we should be using a DMPL for cheap um, Chinese cutters. So next, next, ready to cut. Let's test it. 
Did the cutter respond? Yes. Oh. Did it respond? Yes. Let's try again. Did the cutter respond? Yes. Okay, so we've got uh, COM16 BR9600 FCO2 DMPL on the advanced setting. Done. Okay, cut now. Ready to proceed? Yes. Okay, jammed. Okay, so from the video that we watched, we um, loaded in the drivers for the machine, um, set up the port, set up the flow rate on and off, did all that, double checked it, went back, set it up on the software, did that, checked it, and it's still not working. Everything seems to be right. Down here it's gone back to flow, so we'll turn that back to that one. See with cutting. Okay, we'll try again. Here it goes. Alright, so let's go back to connection again, see if anything's moved. Okay, so it's definitely on software. It's definitely there. Auto detect. Unable to detect. Okay. So we've done it manual anyway, we've got direct COM port, uh, yeah, which it is. Right, let's try a USB port then. Nope. <coughs> okay, can't find it. Okay, we've definitely got the right model, and if not, we can try it on Rabbit, which is the other one. Toby, shush. Okay, so now we try. Uh, we got it on DirectCom. That's fine. USB 16. That's fine. 9600. That's fine. Software on and off. That's good. Well, that's good. Now we're trying King Rabbit. Cut now. gone all the way over there. Still doesn't work on King Rabbit. So no matter what I do, <coughs> it's just not working. Okay, done. And that's using Vinyl Cut Master 04. And it is a registered version. And it's just not working. Not working. If you can help, let me know.